Hi there. So today we're going to talk about changing the spring in an external wastegate. This is a genuine teal fake, which will be exactly the same as a teal one. And uh, realistically, most external wastegates you change the spring will be the same. All you need to do is, is remove these Allen keys on the top of here and change the spring. Now what happens is, with this one especially, this was a, an import one, should we say. Uh, it came with three springs. Obviously one's inside there now. Um, and one of them is a 7 PSI spring, I think one is a 21 and the one that's in it is a 14. Now 14 is too much for me and I want to use the 7 PSI which I'm pretty sure is a smaller one. But first off we're going to take this to bit um, and all it is is a simple case, you just need an alloy key. And remove those bolts, I think we're going to be on for about 4, I would guess. Room for four. Yes, it's a four. So we'll just slacken these off all the way around without removing them first. Because if you've ever taken a car spring out, the top mount, there's a lot of pressure on it. I don't imagine there's too much pressure on this, but if you can see that to there, it's going to be a bit compressed. So we'll just slacken them off first and then we'll take a few of them out, leaving two in and then we'll gradually wind them back out while holding the lid down just in case anything flies off and dents the ceiling of the kitchen because it might so uh, I'll speed this bit up because nobody wants to watch me screwing these out because it might take a while There you go. So, that's the inside of your wastegate, and obviously you can see how there's different ridges on there. So the different ridges on this one anyway, will allow you to put the different springs on. And I actually think that's the, that's probably the highest one, that's at a guess. Anyway, so that's the one we're going to fit, it's going to be the smallest one, and then we just need to put it back. I mean, already you can see that there's taken very little force to put that back together. Very, very little force. So with a bit of luck, this will be the one we need. So I'll put that back together at a slightly higher speed again. from before um, that that's actually a lot weaker which is good because that's what I need um, this is going on into my turbo Civic so 7 psi hopefully is what it is and that will be a lot better for me than 14 psi because it is just a completely standard engine so I can now fit that back onto the car and that's good to go thanks for watching